a thing that unites almost every spiritual path that, uh, that humanity has ever uh, pursued is this idea that everything is connected. It's this powerful idea. Like it, it's central to so many of these systems of belief. And as Vishen mentioned, you know, my background, I have a lot of technical background. I've been a scientist, I've been an engineer, I've been these sorts of things. And I'm here today to talk to you about how it actually is true. Effectively, we are a continuous flame of inner becoming. And I did these calculations, they were pretty fun to do. But basically, um, I guess I have a different sense of fun than everybody, it's cool. <laughs> but in a, in a given day, you basically bring in a, a little more than a kilogram of solid material, two and a half kilograms of water between what you drink and the water in your food. And you actually also interchange almost a kilogram of air. And what it actually means is that 7% of your body exchanges out in a single day. That means yesterday, 7% of you that was you yesterday is not here anymore. And like the stuff that you are right now, tomorrow, 7% of that is going to be gone. And you may not know, you may not have a sense of what 7% of the body is, but basically that's roughly the mass of your arm. Right? So every single day, one of those is leaving and one of those is coming in. Right? And it means that over the course of two weeks, you actually exchange out the entire, an equivalent to the entire body mass of your body, right? So you think that you are you, but really from two weeks ago, you kind of aren't. And definitely from a year, a year ago, you're definitely not. And it's, a, it's we're constantly in the state of inner becoming. And what are we inner becoming with? We're inner becoming with this. So this is the whole earth. And these are just the winds. What this actually means is that the breaths that you're taking right now, part of it was literally on the other side of the planet four or five days ago. It also means that the stuff that you're exhaling right now, you know, four or five days from now could be becoming a flower in, in Germany or the Sudan. And this is not like theoretical. This is literally exactly what's happening. Part of you today was these plants a couple days ago part of you tomorrow is going to be them. You know, both locally, just around you in the next couple minutes, and, and within the next couple days, literally everywhere on the planet. Right? And this is how much we are interconnected with our planet. This is how much we are constantly becoming our planet. And our sense of, of separation from the planet, like we need to protect nature, or humanity needs to have its priorities, we are that.